So, Paul, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. Okay, so what's happening? Sorry to make you wait there. No <laughs> worries, even, no worries. <laughs> giving me the eye daggers mm -hmm. over there. <laughs> I thought uh, you were part of this and you were kind of bounced out. My apologies. No worries. But glad to have you inside theCUBE. So tell us, Thanks. what's going on with you? So at, at the event here, we announced our strategy around Converge Systems. And Converge Systems include the app systems, which Vertica is part of, our virtual system, and then our cloud system. All these are prepackaged, optimized solutions delivered for customers' key workloads. You know, cloud is the hottest thing out there today. And with our cloud system, we enable customers to buy a single SKU and have a complete cloud environment for private cloud delivered right to their doorstep. Virtualized systems are big also. We, have, we launched our new virtual system, which enables the same thing with a virtual environment, supporting an open environment of VMware, Citrix, Microsoft, whatever the customer wants to run on there, prepackaged, optimized for virtual environments. And then our app systems, which are highly tuned for dedicated workloads like Vertica, where somebody wants to run on a dedicated machine and have the highest performance, lowest latencies. We have uh, app systems with Vertica as well as across the board of Microsoft appliances, uh, such as SQL Server and Exchange. So we provide the best performance for SQL Server and you can set it up in, in literally minutes versus what usually takes months. So the, the appliance trend is the rage right now. So you're seeing a lot of prefabricated, you know, putting all the complexity in the box, very similar to how a PC in the old days, servers, yep. you put all the subsystems under, you wrap it up and you sell it, Exa turn key. So, so that's cool, and uh, let's talk about that in a Vertica, because Vertica is a new acquisition from HP, sitting up there, CTO office, all the CTOs are mind melting, trying to figure out where it all fits in there. The bigger story with analytics is obviously it's very sexy, there's a lot of sizzle to it, but a lot of meat on the bone with verticals we were talking about. Um, but ESSN, the conversion infrastructure group, they just went ahead and just, we're going to do an appliance. So walk me through that process, because Vertica's okay. like this Indian reservation right now within <laughs> HP. It's sitting out there, a lot of asset capabilities. You guys took it right in. Take us through, one, the process and what you guys have. Okay, so in a lot of our conversations that we've been having with customers, it's all about data and information, right? When I go out to customers, there's two big conversations. What am I going to do for the cloud? And what am I going to do with all this data out there? And as we were bringing Vertica into HP, we saw a tremendous need for some appliance that would go across, not just like you know, our competitors out there, one stack, their stack, but could go across all stacks and suck in not only traditional data, structured data from uh, CRM systems, ERP systems, but also reach out into unstructured data, web clicks, uh, medical imaging, et cetera, and be able to be that unifying next generation data source. So is based on just the customer conversations we have that said, I need a solution like this. And we did is because of the converged infrastructure, the ability to package this up and bring it to market in record time is all because we have this known entity of converged infrastructure quickly working with the engineering team to optimize it and then get it out for customers. So let's drill down on that, because that's, you know, we say dog fooding, but we heard, you know, from the <laughs> SAP guys, it's drinking from your own champagne bottle. But uh, um, a little bit better reference, I guess, than dog food, which yep. is more of a Silicon Valley term where I live. But, you know, that's an interesting thing. You know, Vertica gets bought, they get left alone, try to figure out, you guys see that and you go, wow. You want to integrate it in, and that's in a way how you guys talk to your customers. That's what you want customers to do, is think the same way. So how long did it take from Vertica entering, walking in the front door of HB, to turning around the appliance? Less than two months from when, you know, when they first get, walked in the door and we could actually get the engineers to talk together. Less than two months, and the most of the time was actually spent in getting through our manufacturing processes. So, so that when a customer orders it, it's guaranteed that they get the order correct. Uh, you know, delivering that around the world, across multiple different uh, supply chains, isn't as always as seamless and easy as it sounds, but a lot of the time was spent in that as we were tuning and optimizing this. Because we had already worked with Vertica, for more than two years on our blade system, and it was one of the, they, they had about a 50% share of Vertica on HP. We already had done a lot of that tuning work, so the most of it was just packaging it, and now we're getting our sales force educated, aligned, trained to go out and deliver the message and actually execute on, on uh, proof of concepts to get customers up and running quickly. A lot of people are trying to figure out the converged infrastructure. We were reporting here on theCUBE and siliconangle.com and wikibon.org, our research side. You know, we talked about when, the, when it, we put the group together, essentially 
old three divisions of HP kind of cobbled right. together under Donatelli. Okay, that's great. The execution's been pretty phenomenal. So, so you worked with Vertica, uh, you, you plug it in, obviously pretty excited by Vertica, sounds like, and looks yep. like, obviously through the execution. You guys are really gelling. So talk about how the converged infrastructure teams use that Vertica example and other examples and how that differentiates from, say, the competition. Okay, so when you look at, in, in my role actually within ESSN, is that leg which takes the converged infrastructure from infrastructure of server storage and networking all the way up through the application. And that's where customers are really looking for. Tell me what you're doing to optimize that application stack. And that's, I think, what we're really differentiating is it's just not about running an application on the hardware. But we understand the dials to get the optimal performance. Because it's based on a converged infrastructure, there are technologies such as thin provisioning, such as autonomic storage, such as our virtual connect technology, which enables you to see, seamlessly add blades. So if you look at Vertica, for example, Vertica software enables you to add and grow nodes from you know, 10 to 100 dynamically, but you also need a hardware that can automatically add nodes without taking any, any bit down and be part of that same pool. With converged infrastructure and our virtual- What's the alternative for the customers? Obviously, you know, the customer environment's not always as easy as it sounds, yeah. right? So tell, take us through that scenario. You guys have the building blocks. What's the alternative? If they don't have HP converged infrastructure, what's their choices? So their choices together? are competitors like Oracle, right? Which doesn't uh, scale seamlessly and is very expensive and has an army of DBAs to go figure it out. On the virtualization slide, it's guys like VBlock, which are very closed to one solution. Our alternatives are we're open, we support Microsoft, VMware, our own technology. We're going out to marketplace with a value prop that says, what's your environment? Are you a Microsoft environment? We'll work with you. You, you need something new? We'll bring that in. You're an SAP environment? The multi-vendor environment story is strong because you guys have all those partnerships. You mentioned Oracle, yeah. right? So let's talk about Oracle. Oracle's a lock-in lock -in spec. Okay, they're evil, right? Yep. They do all these things. And, but, but in the way the market signals today are coming in, what we're seeing, what we're reporting on is, the, no, the notion of a DBA is going away. I mean, you know, in terms of a DBA, database administrator, is changing. They're moving away from that. So, so they want more DBAs, but yet with Hadoop and big data and kind of these turnkey appliances, that's you know, against the grain with IT. So talk about what you see in that area and what some of the trends that you see. So what we see with the DBAs are the DBAs want to spend more time with the line of business and understanding what's the value of the data and less time tuning and optimizing and getting buried deep into the, the knobs, right? So if we can do the knobs and they can spend their time understanding with the line of business, okay, what queries, how, how do you want to extract, how do you want to go optimize around these points of business? That's where we see the line of the DBA in the, in the progressive companies changing. Okay, so this, this begs the next question. Um, if the role of the DBA is changing given the nature of the landscape within the IT organizations, what's the next DBA? Because when you bring in, like say, Vertica and Big Data, you have a whole different disruptive element going. You've got DBA, uh, data warehousing, business intelligence markets changing rapidly. You also got the scale out cloud component you mentioned is demand for cloud. What's that guy doing? I mean, <laughs> is there a next, what DBA was for old school, I guess we call it old school, or you know, <laughs> a decade ago, three years ago. What's the new DBA? Is there a new role? The, the, the new role of the DBA is to look across all the data sources out that are available and understand how to extract and pull that data in in the most optimal way. It's no longer about, hey, it's just my data that's parked in my enterprise data warehouse and I'm going to get faster queries on it for you. It's looking at how you mesh it with Hadoop, I mesh it with medical data, me mesh it with surveillance data. That's what's going to change the DBA when they become the asset broker of data that's within their own walls as opposed to data that's out in the general public. And that changes your business how? That changes your business because it can help them make better decisions faster. When you can integrate data from trends that's happening across the web and being able to push a offer to a customer based on something that's happening in a Twitter uh, 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 storm, and target it to somebody on a cell phone to go uh, uh, you know, acquire something or push a coupon, that's where somebody can change and add new business models, because that's what it's all about. And the DBA- How's it changed, you? How's it changed HP's business? Because you guys, are, or hasn't really, you're in a good position, you got the, the appliance approach, which you're managing the, the, as yep. your groups. 
So How's for, it change you? for us, it, it's moving the conversation from having conversations about my hardware moves faster than yours, I've got bigger clock speeds, bigger IO, to I can help you make more money as in business. I can help you change your business model. I can help you look to bring in new opportunities that you couldn't before. So going up in the stack, our, our sales force is working to, to have a higher level conversation about those opportunities. Business, business agility is a hot topic and it being you know, scale, scaling up without a lot of change and rip and replace is a good approach. Uh, Paul Miller, thanks for coming on theCUBE. One final question, um, what do you think about the show and, and your, your, your role here and what's been the feedback? So the, the show's been great and the feedback's been great. A lot of customer interest across all the appliances, the virtual systems. You know, we see a, a huge opportunity and you know, what I'm hearing from customers is, wow, I wish we would have known this about this earlier. So it's, it's really like bringing the awareness to a lot of customers. Thanks for coming inside theCUBE. We really appreciate you sharing your knowledge and the update on the business and I love this whole DBA's kind of changing role. Love the appliance strategy, love, love what you guys have. You guys really executed here in the ESSN group. Congratulations. Great, thanks. Have a okay. great day.